to NURFM.com, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. Well, I'm pleased to be joined now by uh, local dentist Dr. David Hancock and his wife Jenny, and we're having a chat about a new initiative which is called the Tooth uh, Program. Let's find out about that. Good morning to you, David. Thank you. Jenny, welcome along. Thanks, David. Lovely to have you both here. Tell us a bit about the Tooth Initiative. We don't know a lot about that. David, what is it? Uh, The the Tooth Initiative is the Outback Oral Treatment and Health Program, and it was originally established by David Gonski and his wife, Orly. They were uh, doing a a dermatological survey of the Aboriginal clinics in Outback, New South Wales, and they realised that there were a lot of dental clinics that were fully established, but there was nobody manning them in these little communities, so the communities had no dental services whatsoever. So he, in partnership with Investec, donated $2.3 million to set up a program where they employed a dentist who flew out of Dubbo to these clinics, and the clinics um, are established at Colorado Bry, at Burke, Gadooga and Lightning Ridge, and they service that once a week. And these people now have a regular dental service, which they didn't have before. So... um, we, uh, we got involved with it because there was a changeover of dentists and they didn't have the clinic manned, so Jenny and I went out and manned uh, the service. Tell us about that involvement by the Royal Flying Doctor service there. Uh, well, the Royal, Royal Flying Doctor, he is responsible for flying out the dentist to the clinics, and uh, a lot of people don't realise um, how, how wide-ranging the Royal Flying Doctor service is. They service about 80% of Australia, and they're not just about emergency retrievals. They, um, they serviced, last year they serviced 290,000 uh, people and uh, did about 15,000 clinics because with the protracting um, uh, de- medical services in uh, outback New South Wales, hospitals closing and things like that, there's no medical service whatsoever out there. So the doctor flies out all these special clinics with, uh, they treat mental health, um, specialist clinics and GP clinics. So it's an important uh, service to all rural New South Wales. Now, Jenny, tell us about your involvement <coughs> with David when you go out and do these. Um, well, as David said, there's just us. So we both need to work quite closely as a team. David does the um, patient work and I do all the gopher work, do the chair side, do all the book work, contact the patients, do the aftercare consultations. Um And it's very rewarding, David, because when they say to you, oh, my God, it doesn't hurt anymore, it's a great feeling, particularly in a place like Lightning Ridge, for instance, where there's a 70-people waiting list, Mm. and they watch that aeroplane come in every week. They're so grateful for it. So that's when the reward comes back to us. Now, David, you've got a fundraising like a bash coming up. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, this is the Outback Car Trek, which is run by the Royal Flying Doctor. So some of the funds goes to the Royal Flying Doctor, and the, some of it goes to the Tooth Program. And it was started 25 years ago by Dick Smith, uh, who initiated the program. And so far in the 25 years that it's been going, they've raised over $21 million, which is... Last year alone, they raised $1.5 million, And they usually get around about 100 cars going this bash. And it's mainly cars before 1978. And there must be two-wheel drive. And we mainly travel on dirt roads. And this time, because it's the 25th we, um, anniversary, we're uh, starting at Alice Springs, going up the Tanami Track to Halls Creek, and then across to Broome. And then from Broome, we go down to Marble Bar and Tom Price, Mount Augusta and Katanning, and end up in Market River. So we'll have a few wines there. How can we get involved and show support for what you're doing with this? Well, we have a site uh, on the Everyday Hero site, and uh, people can go on that and they can follow us on that trek and see where we're up to, and also they can uh, donate. So that's the Outback uh, Car Trek 2014, yes. and it's on the Everyday Hero site. And ours is the Car 88, right. is our particular site which you can donate. We have a, some goals that we're, we're hoping to get to. We've raised about $14,000 so far. The cost of running the car has been by, donated by Investec. Very nice. Yeah. And the whole idea of it is that we promote this system and, and raise money. So um, that and uh, or you can email me personally for any personal details and that's uh, djjmhancock at bigpond.com. 
or you can contact the station, and I'm sure they'll have We'll the have all those details at our front desk. So we're hoping people might get behind, give you some support for this wonderful initiative that you're doing. So we'll have all those details here. And we might like to get you back when you come back from the trek. Would that be okay? And you can tell us all about it? Yes, we'd love to do that. We'd love it. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good, thank you. And good luck with Thanks, the venture. Thanks, David. Thank you. Joining us, it is local dentist Dr. David Hancock and wife Jenny Hancock to talk about what's going on. We have all the details here. All you have to do is give us a call at 2NURFM, the front desk, and we'll be able to pass on more for you.